Sapphire R9 280. This is beautiful. Two six pin power. So we hit F12 on the X99 SLI to go to to go to the select boot device. So we're gonna install High Sierra. 320 gig hard drive into three partition for High Sierra, Mojave, and Catalina. Now, if you look at the partition on this 320 gig, you have High Sierra 110, Mojave 110, and Catalina is 99.5. Okay? It should. So now we're going to do his High Sierra, erase it to APFS. Okay. So now we're going to install Mac OS onto it. So his. So nine minutes. And we're gonna choose. So this is gonna be the second installation. Okay, so this is a third time. Third time. So it's gonna take 15 minutes. Okay, so it's done. So we can boot from High Sierra. Okay, so I built this one for my daughter. It's X99 SLI Gigabyte. And we use the i7 5820, which is very fast, six core. And when we use a 1060, we cannot get the full acceleration with Mojave and Catalina. So we're gonna use, I bought this AMD Radeon R9 280 and they got 3 gig so it's full acceleration and this one you can buy it used for $30 so which is amazing the ethernet is working so now we got this one so the uh, Safari is running okay so this is Mojave on Gigabyte X99 SLI. So I use the AMD R9 280 3 gig from Sapphire. And this one worked right out of the box. So this one is i7-5820. It's extremely fast. Six core, 12 thread. So the ethernet is working on this card. Graphic display. NVRAM is three gig, exactly as it's there. USB 3.0 hub. USB 2.0, many of them, all right? So now it's working. So one good thing is with this board is that it use Intel, Ethernet, but it's supported, so you got. Okay, so this is my uh, USB external Mojave. 
146. So I'm going to boot to Catalina and see if it's going to work. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so this is Catalina. And we look here, it's the speed step that was working. And everything else is working the same as Mojave. The Ethernet, um, the sound is working because this one using the real tech. And if you use the layout ID 3 with Apple ALC, Lilo, and whatever green, it will work on the back side and also on the front side too if you connect them correctly. So if you run the uh, hacking tool, you will see the Realtek audio and they have a few. You can choose and select whatever you want on the layout ID. And this one is recognized as Haswell CPU. The important thing to get this to boot because this is an older board, Gigabyte X99 SLI, ACPI, use the patch folder, and inside here you need to extract the SDT, and also use the read-write everything in one of my tutorials to how to extract the DSDT. Okay, right? This is a Clover 5070. So you can choose whether it's new one if you want, but this is, it works, so I don't change. So you go to the drivers and UEFI. The most important thing on this one is for some reason, they use OSX Aptofix 2, free 2000. So you look for this one. And you put it in here and remove all the other one out. And also HFS Plus and NTFS. Right? You go into the other Ethernet. And this Ethernet driver is working. Okay. Always have fake SMC. Always use the same one. 1758 on my tutorial. To boot on all boards. ALC. Apple ALC is for the Realtek Audio 1.43 and Kodak Commander. And this one, for some reason, I put fix PCI XHCIM, XHCI MUX, and fix PCI ID for the USB, but also the something. USB injector X99, which I put them all in to make sure that it works. And the Lilu must be there, so I use 1.39. And whatever green I also use is 1.34. Now, for some reason, we need this Voodoo TSC Sync for this CPU 6, for it to recognize uh, 6 core. So try to get this one this one work with no CPU power management CAX for some reason so the speed step is working with this already so I don't really need to do anything else also on the config file that's the most important thing too so the config file, so on the Xcode, ACPI, the Xcode is easier to read. So I use the original DSDT, drop OEM no, fix this. I also fix the same thing, these two guys. I don't patch anything. 
SSD T drop OEM no and nothing else. Okay. Boot. For some reason, you put NPCI equals zero times 2,000. It will work. So put it there. Everything else is not important. Audio, I inject three, layout ID three, so the layout ID will work on the sound, on the real tech, with the Apple ALC, of course. USB, turn them on. So the fake ID I use, so I R9280 with this one here, 679A1002. Okay, property, I don't put anything. GUIs, whatever you want to do, I use Clovey. Graphics, I put IGV platform ID, the same one as here. Right? It may not do anything, but it works. So, ATI in check, yes. Kernel and patches, all right? Kernel to patch, what do I patch? ALC, kernel panic after wake. And this one is from um, Pike Alpha. Disable panic. And disable panic. So CAX to patch, what do I patch in here? All the USB ports from PM card, the four of them. And also the device graphic policy and external icon patch, enable trim on SSD. So I think the newer one, you don't need that, but I just put it anyway. So system parameter, inject CAX, make sure it's the detect and not yes. RT uh, variable. So the ROM here should be the Ethernet MAC address. So SM BIOS, what do I use for this one? I use iMac 14.2. Okay? To me, it's my daughter I like to use it for video editing and stuff. How fast this computer in rendering. i7-5820K on Gigabyte X99 SLI running AMD R9-280 and it's full acceleration. So the gig bench is very low I think but I care more about rendering so let's open this up okay so let's see how fast this one will go to movie so let's start 112 frames per second so it's pretty fast so if I turn this off and see how fast it will go so okay. with the recording off we get up to 152 frames per second. That is fast.